Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then please don't forget to subscribe because I would just thoroughly enjoy that. I would love your company here. Today I decided to do a look because I was getting a lot of questions on it from the Sigma, is this the Warm Neutrals palette? You are the Warm Neutrals palette. I'm late to the game with this. This is out about two years I'd say. It is beautiful. I'm surprised this doesn't get more hype online. I think this is one of the nicest palettes I have ever owned and I think the reason why is because it's got this plum color. You guys know how much I love plums and purples. I mean, they just go up my eye color so well. So that is why I am drawn to this palette. To be honest, I think I will reach for this a little bit more than my naked palettes. Only thing in my opinion that this palette is missing is a black. But to be honest, I don't know what you would switch out for the black because all the colors are beautiful. So that's what I used to create this look today. So guys, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please stay tuned. I am all about bottom lashes lately, guys. So if you don't like bottom lashes, I would not include them in this look. I just think that they look amazing and they pull the whole I look together. Thank you anyway guys for listening to me ramble and let's get straight into the tutorial. So I'm going to start by applying two foundations. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match and my EX1 in the colour F300. I'm pretty sure I would have used the primer but for some reason I've lost that clip. I'm going to take Paint Early Paint Pot and apply that all over my lid just to prime and then I'm just going to set it with a pressed powder from L'Oreal. I will write all this down below. I'm taking that Warm Neutrals palette from Sigma and I'm going to place that kind of warm peachy colour through my crease. It's coming up really brown on camera for some reason. And then I'm going to go in with the darker brown again, plopping that on top of that crease just in the same position. I'm taking this amazing aubergine, gorgeous, plummy shadow and just placing that on the outer corner. Again, I'm kind of just blending it a little bit below the transition colors and then blending it ever so finely into the inner corner of my eye. Gonna remove any harsh lines by blending it out with a big fluffy brush. I'm going in with this cream slash purple shadow. It looks cream in the palette, but it actually comes out purple on the lid. I'm going to place that with a teeny tiny brush just on the inner third of my eye. And then place this cream shadow underneath my brow and into my inner corner of my eye. I'm going to go back in with that purple shadow just to kind of enhance it because you lose it from blending and stuff and I just want it to be really vibrant. Taking my Inglot Gel Liner number 77, just, just line my towards my lashes. I'm not going to wing it out and just kind of into my inner corner. And then taking a matte black, you can take any one that you have. Just going to kind of blur it out on the outer V and just make it kind of like a smoky black. You know, blend it whatever way you're happy with. I'm gonna take my gel liner from Inglot, this is a number 15, and place that through my brows. And then gonna put my mascara on just on my upper lashes. And I applied my lashes also. I will write down the ones that I used, they're the Esquito ones, amp it up. Conceal under my eyes, I'm taking the Naked Skin Concealer and just blend that out with my beauty blender and I'm applying it in a triangle position underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Press Powder. This is a creamy white shade and I'm just gonna use that to set underneath my eyes and brighten them up. Set my face makeup. I'm taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden and just gonna set my face and then going to go in with that warm brown again underneath my lower lash line and then placing the purple just on the outer corner and blending it all out with a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to place a black coal liner into my waterline and then coat my lower lashes with mascara. I'm going to later go in with bottom lashes. To contour, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and just going to go in with that cool tone brown and just contour my underneath my cheekbones and around the top of my forehead and my temples. I'm taking Max Warm Soul as blush today and then I'm going to go in with the Mary Lou just to add a little bit of enhancing brightness to this whole look. 
I'm gonna line my lips and I can't remember the lip liner I use but I will write it down below it's from Rimmel anyway and then for the star of the show that you guys have all been waiting for it's Dosa Colors Desert Suede on my lips so many of you want to know what was on my lips and I kept it a secret till now <laughs> it is a stunning color though I did really 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 like it and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial found it interesting and if any of you do recreate it please let me know because I love to see your recreations always thank you guys so much for watching and I love you and I will talk to you in my next video bye